Hearing of this Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam from the realized person that we train up oneself, one uh, into the thoughts of the Supreme Being, twenty-four hours, which will lead one ultimately, antakali, uh, to remember the Supreme Lord, and thus uh, leaving this body, he will have a spiritual body, a spiritual body, just fit for association with the Lord. The Lord therefore says, Abhyasa yoga yuktina jitusa nanugamina paramang purisang divyang yati partha anuchintayan. Anuchintayan. Constantly thinking of himself only. It is not a very difficult process. One has to learn this process from the experienced persons in this line. That Vigyanatmusa Guru Miva Vigatche, one should approach a person who is already in the practice. So, Abhyasa Yoga Yukti. This is called Abhyasa Yoga. Practice. Abhyasa Yoga. How to remember the Supreme Lord always? Chitusa Nanagamino. The mind. The mind is. Always flying to this, to that. And so one has to practice, to concentrate the mind into the uh, form of the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. Always. Or in the sound, in His name, which is very easier. Uh, instead of concentrating my mind, my mind may be very mm, rest. Restless, going hither and thither. But I can concentrate my ear into the sound vibration of Krishna. And that will also help me. That is also Bhyasaju. Chitrasa Nanagamina Paravam Purusam Dibba Paravam Purus, the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the spiritual kingdom, in the spiritual sky, one can approach anujintayan, uh, constantly thinking. So these processes, the ways and means, all are stated in the Bhagavad-gītā. And there is no bar for anyone. It is not that uh, that a particular class of men can approach. Thinking of Lord Krishna is possible. Hearing of Lord Krishna is possible by everyone. And the Lord says in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Mangi part of the past, Sritya, Jeevi Su, Papa Juma, Sriya Sudja, Tathavishya, Sriviyanti Parangati, Kinkuna, Brahmana, Punya, Bhakta Raja, Sayasatha, Asukam, Anittam, Asukam, Lokam, Mimang, Prapta, Vajasama. The Lord says that, that in uh, a a human being in the lowest status of life, lowest status of life, or even a fallen woman, or a mercantile man, or a liberal class of man. In the mercantile class of man, 
the laborer class of men and the woman class, they are counted in the same category because uh, their intelligence is not so developed. But the Lord says, they also, or even lower than them, mahi part of vipāsitu jīpīśu, not only they or lower than them or anyone, it does not matter who is he or who is he, anyone who accepts this principle of bhakti yoga and accepts the Supreme Lord as the summum bonum of life, the highest target, highest goal of life. That paragati in the spiritual kingdom and the spiritual sky, everyone can approach. Simply one has to practice the system. That system is hinted in the Bhagavad-gītā very nicely. And one can adopt it and make his life perfect and and make a permanent solution of life. That is the sum and substance of the whole Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> Therefore, the conclusion is that Bhagavad Gita is a transcendental uh, literature which one should read very carefully. Gita śāstra midaṁ puñyam japaṭet prajatā pumān. And the result will be, if he properly follows the instruction, then he can be freed from all miseries of life, all anxieties of life, all fears of life in this life, as well as he will get a spiritual life in the next life. Gita dhyana sila sa pranayama pranayama parasacha naiva santi papani putbajan kritani cha. The another advantage is that if one reads Bhagavad Gita very sincerely and with all seriousness, then by the grace of the Lord, the reactions of his past misdeeds will not act upon him. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 